This is the third in a set of pictures, collages of uh, dots on a trip to D.C. I was living in New York City. I am living in New York City at the moment. I was living uh, in Manhattan back around this time. Took the train down to D.C. Her friend had an art show, as I recall, in a huge building spanning several floors. I want to say his name is Pierre, but I don't remember exactly. Here we're having dinner at the enormous apartment that he lived in in D.C. It was very cool. Here's Dot reclining and barefoot. Everybody's barefoot in this, uh, well, almost. I think uh, certainly Pierre is. Pierre? Is that his name? And uh, Helen is back here, a.k.a. Jen. I don't remember the gentleman here. Uh, and that's that. So there's the space. We're having dinner. We're all seated around the dinner table. There's a blueness, a bluish cast to the photos on this side because they were underexposed, and that's just how the printer did them, uh, the way the uh, exposure he printed the paper at. Uh, so it's kind of neat. This is, you know, a great example of vacation photos, and sometimes you just pull them out once in a while and assemble them to look at them like a picture puzzle. But a cautionary note here I guess is I shot this all probably at 28 millimeter focal length with a zoom lens so it's all wide angle and I'm going to actually pull this apart so you can see how the different parts will never match up because of the distortion of the lenses I mean if we want to be actually correct about this that window goes like that uh, it somehow has to come in to here it, it just you can even see with the lamp, the way uh, the lamp bends to different sides. The lamp appears in four photographs, and this is a good example of what they call the barrel distortion. Uh, here the lamp looks almost normal. Here it's tipping that way, it tips in different angles. And, and the same problem over here, of course, we can see uh, a very large amount of barrel distortion going on. So, no matter, it was... Uh, you know, I, I barely remember this event, so the photographs bring back some memories that uh, I would otherwise have lost. And that's the dinner collage from D.C. circa 99 or 2000.